Hi, and welcome back to The Thriftier Person. As you walk down your grocery grocery aisle at your local grocery store and you look at the price of shampoos, the different varieties and what they can do, can't do, what they're good for, your combination shampoo, conditioner, and all these lovely ingredients and extracts, well, that's great and fine. Turn the bottle over and try to find where exactly that extract lies in the list of ingredients because the first ones that you see listed are the primary ones that uh, that have the most concentration in that shampoo or conditioner bottle and you'll typically find that uh, you know your cocoa butter whatever it happens to be or mint or whatever happens to be somewhere in the middle or more towards the end by the FD 955 yellow you know uh, whatever the case may be. So, those who happen to suffer with a dry scalp and dandruff issue have the most simplest solution in the world, and it's right in your kitchen, and as a matter of fact, half of this recipe comes directly out of your faucet. So, here's what it is, here's how you make it, and here's why it is uh, extremely beneficial to your hair. Number one, the first thing that you need to know is shampoos in general, and, you know, yeah, they work great, and you never think about it. You get in, wet your hair, put the shampoo in, rinse, dry, done. But what does shampoo really do? Well, number one, it's expensive. Uh, number two, if you look at the back of that label and just do some research on those chemicals that you can't pronounce, you'll find that they're kind of rather harsh. And uh, when you find out what some of them are, you really wonder why you put them on your head and wonder why sometimes you can't uh, remember what it is you're saying, like I do sometimes in my videos. Too many years of shampooing, look, no hair. Ha <laughs> ha, there you go. Uh, it also, it cleans, shampoos, when they clean your hair, they literally strip your scalp and your hair of its natural oils. You should have remaining natural oils. It's only there to give a gentle cleansing of the hair, leaving your natural oils on your scalp. Removing all of that, all of the natural oils that your, your scalp produces causes dry scalp, which causes dandruff over long periods of time. Uh, it's also you're putting fragrance in your, on your scalp. Well, I'm sure some people, you know, they have to get fragrance free or hypoallergenic, you know, shampoo because it's loaded with fragrances. People want to have, you know, the natural smell of a, an English garden. Well, if that's what you want, go rub your head in an English garden, call it a day. Ah, you know, then again, that's my opinion. So, um, basically what you need is baking soda and water. Simple and easy. You're in the shower, you already got the water. So you have a little a bag of baking soda with the seal. Keep it up on your shower caddy. This is all you have to do. You get your hair wet. Um, then you take a little handful of baking soda, rub it into your hair and in, into your scalp. And uh, then rinse your hair. You know, make sure you get everything out. And... Um, you know, then you just continue to, you know, use the baking soda and water, you know, when you wash your hair and avoid using shampoos from here on out. Now, the one thing you'll notice is that uh, you'll probably notice that your hair is quite dry. Uh, but after a few weeks, you know, your hair and your scalp, uh, you know, your, your hair will start once, your scalp will once again start producing the natural oils that you were putting in with a conditioner because the shampoo, after so many years of use, was stripping out the natural oils that were on your scalp and you had to replace them with a conditioner. So just like anything else, uh, like uh, pain medications and other assorted uh, 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 uh prescription medications, if you take them long enough, your body will start producing its natural chemical and go with the synthetic one that you take as a prescription. I do not recommend stopping any prescription prescribed by a doctor, but remember, when you take something long enough, your body will start producing some of the chemicals that are being blocked, and when you stop taking it, that's when you have severe withdrawals and or could cause some severe health con uh, complications because your body is no longer producing those chemicals because it's dependent upon the medications to do it, rather like the shampoo and conditioner situation. Once the shampoo, you've been using it for a while, strips the oils off and you put the conditioner on, your scalp no longer has to produce the oil. So it just reduces the amount of oil to the point where it's practically nil. So the shampoo causes your scalp to get dry, so you put a conditioner. What do you do? You buy the shampoo, now you have to buy the conditioner. Now you're in a vicious repeat cycle. Wash, repeat, wash, repeat, buy it again. There you go. 
Now you know. Water and baking soda, great for, great for people who have dry scalp and dandruff, and it helps your natural oils of your scalp to come back to naturally moisturize your hair, keep you nice and clean and not greasy, but shiny and healthy the way it's supposed to be. Now, you stay safe. Keep your money in your pocket. Keep it in the bank. Put it in investment. Exchange traded funds. I bonds. Whatever you'd like. If you want to give these shampoo companies all your money, feel free. But when it comes to paying your mortgage payment in retirement or anything else, believe me, they're not going to send you a check, nor are they going to send the bank or your town hall or your city a check to help you pay for all those wonderful years that you paid them to strip your hair and then re-moisturize it. Now, you have a good day. And use your brain. Don't just strip it and, uh, you know, grease it up a little bit. Ciao.